Hello everyone, I am Anupama Ghosh, Senior Research Associate CPPR and with me is Dr. Dhanura, Chairman CPPR and welcome to our election analysis decoding the polls. Uh, Uttar Pradesh is going to elections, the western part of Uttar Pradesh is going to elections in the first and the second phase. And if we are talking about the western part of Uttar Pradesh, that is also the place where the largest concentration of minority community in the state is. Uh, we see that the BSP, SP, RLD combined has been trying to woo the minority communities. And this is also uh, the place where, uh, where, where, where the Congress is pitching in some very important and very significant powerful leaders like Imran Masood and Saharanpur. So uh, with the coming of Congress into the fold, do you think that there would be a split of the minority votes as such? See, uh, in 2014, uh, this Western UP has got 29 seats. Out of 29 seats, they had won 26 seats. BJP had won 26 seats. This time around, the difference is SP and BSP are coming together mm -hmm. and they're forming an alliance with RLD. RLD is a party which is local, which has got uh, more uh, influence on at least in seven, eight constituencies in Western UP. And uh, Congress, uh, uh, they, they are not in coalition with, they are not formed any coalition with uh, RLD or with uh, BSP or SP. Uh, so the difference here is going to be how much would SP, BSP campaign? You know, if you go by the arithmetic, SP, BSP should have, would, they should win most of the seats. Yes. But it depends on how much vote transfer is going to happen, especially with OBCs and uh, the most backward classes, MPC constituency, and how many votes are going to be transferred to uh, the, 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 their uh, candidate, uh, that means uh, SP, BSP, and RLD. Mm -hmm. And since there is no coalition with, uh, there's no alliance with uh, Congress, the problem will be these votes could be split. Yes. And some of the votes will go to Congress party, whereas the other remaining votes will remain with um, SP and BSP campaign. And now you look at the demography of uh, Western UP, you have Jats, you have uh, Muslim population, you have Dalit population, and especially for SP and BSP, these are the strongholds of their, you know, the, for the parties, both the parties. But apparently, Mayawadi is not so happy with the uh, Congress. She, in between, she is, uh, you know, she is creating troubles for the Congress candidates or the Congress leadership. So it, we need to wait and watch how many of these Dalit votes. Uh, they are going to be transferred to Congress party, Congress candidate, wherever Congress is there. Uh, ideally, they should have formed a coalition. Mm -hmm. And so if the Dalit votes are split, that could be a problem because Dalits, uh, even though they are the loyal, they are loyal to Mayavati, uh, there is a chance that because of, you know, the resurgence of Congress leadership mm -hmm. at, 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 at the state level and also at the national level, some of the votes could go to Congress party also. That will benefit uh, BJP and NDA. Uh, the other one is uh, you have issues like cane farmers issues. Yes. Cane farmers issues, they have, uh, I think they are, they are in a debt of around uh, 1200 crores, okay. uh, 12,000 crores, okay. and the 12,000 crores, the, the, they are not given, even though mo, mo, uh, Yogi had promised. Uh, so they are in a big debt trap. And also the mill owners, okay, you know, cane sugar uh, mill owners, they are also supposed to get money. They are also not received money from the government. I think this will be resonating in the poll. Uh, this will be resonating. This will be re get resonated in the election. Uh, then you have one community, Gujas. Yeah. They share it with Haryana, UP. Yeah. Uh, so they also play a major role. And some of the leaders, uh, some of the candidates are coming from the Gujar community. For example. Uh, in uh, Kairana, the candidate that uh, BJP has fielded, uh, he is coming from Gujar community. Mm -hmm. So that vote also got going to get split. Yeah. So we need to see how this, uh, the, the arithmetic is going to work out because the position of uh, uh, Mayavadi uh, and how she is going to, how she is going to work with the uh, 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 Congress leadership is going to play a major role. But coming back to RLD equations in the Western UP, RLD is there since Charan Singh's days, mm -hmm. and they have these, you know, Jat Muslim population mm -hmm. uh, voters. You know, they're voting mm -hmm. for RLD. Uh, last time RLD didn't win, not yeah, even a single yeah. seat. But I think this time they're going to win few seats, mm -hmm. 
uh, Ajit Singh might win, his son uh, Jain Choudhury might win, uh, uh, but at the same time. Uh, and I, I think Congress also showed uh, uh, they were very uh, kind enough to not to field any Congress candidate against some of these leaders. But the, 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 the numbers on the paper need not get translated into real-time vote per poll percentage, uh, the, the way they approach elections. And that, I feel, you know, still give a benefit of advantage to a BJP and NDA investing in poll.